What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 5 as the Inca. In the previous part, we settled the city of Machu actually a little bit too early. Uh, that was never part of the plan, it just kind of happened. And now we're going to have to fix our mistake because now we can't actually get the National College uh, in our capital because Machu doesn't have a library yet. So we're going to try to work on this. We've got a worker on his way. Uh, to set up some terrace farms around there and hopefully get the city to grow a little bit, get a bit more production. And we're also still trying to acquire uh, El Dorado. That was the second mistake I made was um, buying this tile instead of this one. I don't even know why I did it. Probably because it's a good tile. It's like it's surrounded by a few mountains and all. Uh, but it was definitely a mistake. So now we need to amend it. All right, let's go. All right, let's see. Oh, we've got a Venetian warrior. Luckily, Venice can't settle here. Um, so as long as nobody just shows up and randomly settles right here, uh, we should be okay. I don't think that people are going to do it or even, you know, are planning on doing it. But still, it's always a possibility. Um, that's a no for me. That's a hard no. I mean, he seems to be all right so far. He's fighting Mongolia, though. But still, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my distance from these people. I am still scared of pretty much everybody um, because there's been no real alliances. I don't know what's gonna ha uh, what's gonna happen diplomatically. All right, let's go over here. Let's make sure the worker is safe. Uh, what's going on here? What's going on? We've got so many people. Are you telling me that Venice is, is marching an army over to me? Is this what is happening? Oh, no, they're training with me. Yeah, they're training with Machu. They're giving me some science, which I really appreciate. <laughs> no. Get out of here. Why? It's not like I'm rich. That's basically all of my money that she just asked me for. Not entirely sure what she was expecting, but no. That's just a no for me, really. Alright, so let's uh, hook up Hello, Cusco to Tiwanaku. All right, you're you're gonna you're gonna get there. I know you're gonna make it. Cusco's grown. That's a good tile. I mean, everything around this city is just really good and and beautiful, frankly. Okay, uh, water mill. Yeah, we're good. Let's let's make that cargo ship. Get some trade going. Uh, let's see. Do we, we don't have desert, do we? No, we do not. Um, <clears throat> if there's any type of research that would benefit hills, that's what we need. But I don't think there's something like that. I mean, civil service, of course, would be really good. But I think we got, we ought to make our way towards metal casting. Uh, so that's exactly what we'll do. That's the Colossus. Oh, yeah, that has been made. I totally forgot. But the Shoshone have been stealing a lot of wonders. And I mean a lot of them. So that kind of sucks. Seven and then, all right, nine, eleven. <clears throat> That's 14 wonders that have already been made. I I, I can't believe that. What happened? Rabisa and okay. All right, let's go, go, go. We're almost there. Are the barbarians gone then? Or nope, they're still here. All right, let's assist Venice a little bit. Maybe Antwerp will like me if I uh, take take care of these guys. No, apparently they don't care. All right, let's hope that they still issue me a quest to get rid of the barbarians because that would be uh, pretty helpful. Still one more religion that could be founded. I mean, all right, let's make the shrine, but I'm probably not going to make a temple. It's too much of an investment uh, that most likely will not you know, yield anything. I'm probably not going to get a religion. And here we go. That's a second war starting. How is your second city at 14 population? She's got one wheat. I don't, how does that work? Plus four food. I mean, come on. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. All right, let's go. All right, this guy earned a promotion. 
Let's keep doing this. Get some experience. Get some gold from the barbarians as well. Though we still do need El Dorado. So this is 75. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh my god. I really got to get the wheat as well. But that's two more turns. Alright. I'm going to wait until the, the, we get the wheat. And then I'm going to probably just buy this hill. Because that's the cheapest option. Just whichever tile next to um, El Dorado is the cheapest. I'm just going to buy. Because I really... Like the whole reason I even settled Machu. Was to get my hands on El Dorado. Friendship. Nobody hates me. Alright, that's good. Nobody hates me. 80 gold. You know what? I'm going to save my gold for now. I really feel like I don't necessarily need uh, an extra bowman right now. Alright. Let's see. Alright, one more turn and then we can actually get our hands on the wheat. Which, uh, sadly, is not going to be as good as a terrace farm. But it's still going to be really good. Uh, sure, I'll be buddies with Venice. Venice is usually pretty okay, right? Made Borobudur. Statue of Zeus has been built. That's actually quite late. Normally you see that a bit, a bit sooner. Alright, so we have our, our hands on some uh, delicious wheat. Now we could just allow the city to grow. Let's see, how much longer is the terrace farm going to take? Yeah, okay. That's what we'll do. We're going to allow Machu to grow. And then, alright, Tuanaku's grown as well. That's not even that great of a tile, but I guess I'll take it. Shrine is done, so we should really get a lighthouse up in here. I mean, they su they're suggesting a granary, but... Honestly, a lighthouse is a lot better. I guess they just really like suggesting granaries. Alright, so over in Cusco, we've made a cargo ship, which is good. All right, first order of business would be to trade with someone. Samarkand would like a trade route. So that would get us a bit of temporary happiness at the same time. Okay, so I do want to trade with Tuanaku and give him food, but we really do need gold and science and all that. So I'm going to trade with Gao for now. And we're just going to make a second cargo ship. Instead of, you know, whatever else I had in mind. See, we need more cocoa as well. You know what? Get more cocoa before you finish the road. Because happiness is going to be an issue soon enough. And the only way to really combat that would be to get more luxury. So we could get some cocoa and then trade that with, say, Alexander for uh, gems. Just one of the many examples. Oh, no. Yep, they stole the encampment. I mean, I pretty much did all the work and they just swoop in at the last second. Classic Venice right there. Alright, well, I don't really care. Although I am slightly annoyed by that. Alright, get some cocoa. Do you need what, like some faith? Alright, let's go back to the city. It's a Brazilian scout there. Nobody wants my lands yet. Alright, we're still good. Still good. Uh, yes, yeah, so buy that one. Oh, are you kidding me? We can't actually buy El Dorado because it's slightly too far away. Alright, so that was a mistake as well then. I probably should have settled here. Come on. No. Please tell me that we can still get it though. Either we need to wait a little bit and get lucky that we actually do get the tile. Or we're going to need something like a general. To actually get our hands on it. We could always settle here. Which it just isn't worth it. The whole reason I settled here was El Dorado. I mean, I love all these hills and the mountains. I mean, that's really nice. But El Dorado is really like the thing that made me want to settle here. So we don't even we don't even get to work it. How did I make this mistake? That is unbelievable. So basically, all of this wasn't even worth it. And it's all my fault. What are you doing, Venice? What's up with that? Alright. Well, Machu is still going to be a great city, though. A lot of production and food, but... 
Just kind of bummed out about that. El Dorado there. Sure, yeah, I like Portugal. Alright, Ivory. Alright, I'm just hoping that eventually it will... It will be worth it. I'm just slightly bummed out. Still good city, though. Our engineering is now done. Cusco's grown. Um, is that... I mean, I guess... We don't really have a lot of alternatives, really. So it'll have to do. Alright, keep scouting a little bit. Venice is a really large army. Which I definitely was not expecting. Oh boy. This is gonna this is gonna cause some issues. Yep. I'm pretty sure that Askia and the Shoshone are gonna hate each other. Porto has been captured by Greece. Uh oh. That's not gonna be good. So basically Portugal is gonna get kicked out of the game. And we're not very literate. <coughs> Alright, we found Mount Kilimanjaro over there. Alright. She's losing money. They only have two cities, yet they still have more points than I do. Then again, they do have a religion, I'm guessing. Do you have a religion? How do I see this? Hold on. Global politics. No, they don't have a religion. Okay. Could have just checked the city. I was way, way quicker. Okay. Uh, go with that. That's good. I think this tile is especially going to be really, really good. But much is already shaping up to be a, a nice city. Uh, the lighthouse. Okay, you can just keep working on that. I don't really need to and I could grow too quickly. That's okay. As soon as they get a lighthouse and then a cargo ship uh, going that way with food, they should be looking a lot better anyway. Swordsman, hello. I feel like, I, oh my god. Just everything. We are so far behind. And I know that that's sort of typical for Deity. Um, let's see, yep, get that one. Boom! That's gonna be another amazing tile right there. Alright, let's see, Machu's grown. And Machu's be good, is gonna be doing a lot more grown. Uh, you know what? Let's finish aristocracy. Or, uh, well, let's get aristocracy and finish tradition. We are also earning a good amount of money now. That's always good to see. Alright, Wittenberg likes the fact that I found the wonder, and so does Antwerp. So they're giving me two happiness, and they're giving me two faith per turn. Although the possibility of a religion is... It's still there. You know, it's still possible. I'm guessing some people just don't really care about getting a religion. Possibly, maybe... Yeah, Mongolia doesn't have one. Uh, the Shoshone do have one. Oh, okay, Askia has one. I don't really know. Venice has one as well. So it's Portugal and then... Greece, maybe? Yeah, Greece, Portugal, and... Uh, Mongolia do not have a religion. Zurich would like some culture. Yeah, good luck with that. Because I'm not going to be able to give you any. Unless I get I get some uh, cultural city states, but the Shoshone already have a ton of influence with three different city states. I don't get how they're doing this. Honestly, I just I believe the AI is just completely out of control on Deity when it comes to cheating, uh, which is kind of a bummer. All right, let's get that cargo ship. Two more turns. Four for the library. Yeah, okay. We should be okay. Just can't wait for that tile to be complete. If we get a terrace farm there, then much is really going to take off. Because they're already grown pretty quickly. I mean, we're going to have a bunch of different tiles. Nope. Um, that are going to give me a lot of food. This one especially is going to give me, what, plus five food on that tile? 
And then we can actually work this one as well, which is the same. Where does the Tuanaku have grown? Alright, that's cool. It's not like we needed it. I mean, it's not a good tile or anything, but sure. I'll take it. Do we still have a scout, actually? Yes, we do. Where are you, buddy? Right there. Okay. Just wanted to make sure, because we've been doing a pretty alright job with all the scouting. Uh, but I want to make sure that we keep doing a good job. Still two cities. Oh, they're losing Lisbon. Gondolo made the Great Mosque of Jen. Or Gen A, or however you pronounce it. Iron working is now done. Alright, well, the Colossus is long gone. There's just about 0% chance of us actually getting it. So that's okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do... I mean, Tionaku doesn't even have a, a lot of gray tiles around it. We don't really want it to grow too quickly. Because we're gonna run out of good stuff. Um... Alright, first of all, let's get another cargo ship. And we're, for now, we're just gonna trade with some Markin, get a bunch of money, get them to like us. Because I don't want uh, Tuanaku to grow too quickly right now. Until, you know, we get the lighthouse. That's gonna, these tiles are gonna be great. And then we still need to get a farm here or something like it. Um, maybe even, let's see, probably do something here. We need a, a camp on the deer as well. Alright, so Markin's happy with me right now. And we are getting 31 gold per turn. Which is good. Oh, it's a Portuguese scout. Please help me out here, Samarkin. Alright, Borders of Machu. That's not great. Not really what I was hoping for. But we are about to get... Oh, we can still buy it. Wait, what? One, two, three. Okay, I was wrong. I don't know why, but I was looking at this tile. But we can actually work Eldorado. So, boom. And boom. Eldorado. We have it now. That's good. Okay. I felt like an absolute idiot for thinking that I settled in the wrong spot. Now I kind of feel like an idiot for not looking at it correctly. Then again, this looks way more imposing than this. So I guess I was looking at this uh, as a city, which obviously it's not. So yeah, I guess I wasn't looking. I was like counting wrong or something. I don't know what happened there. But we've got Eldorado. We've got it. And that is another five culture per turn, which is a good amount. Although it's not impressive, and it's surely not impressive enough to actually get us a, um... Or to, to impress a city-state with our culture. Because it's only five per turn, but it's still pretty good. Alright, I mean, I'm not, I'm not giving up this tile for... Even for, um... Eldorado, I'm not giving that up, that's just an amazing tile. Uh, National College is now available, so let's get a shrine over here. You guys definitely finished that National College. It's about time. Uh, we are going to be late on this. But that's alright. Two cities. They still didn't take Lisbon. Lisbon. Look at that. They're still alive. That's amazing. My scout, for some reason, is just hanging out. Just looking at the, uh... The carnage going on between the uh, the barbarians and the As Askians. Songhai, I guess. I never actually use the word Songhai. I don't know why. C plus five food. This tile is going to blow everybody's minds. That's going to be nuts. Uh, all right, so we're definitely going to prioritize growth and science throughout this game. Mostly because Diplomacy most likely... Sure, I'll take gems. Why not? Diplomacy most likely isn't even on the... Okay, there goes Lisbon. Diplomacy isn't even really uh, a possibility, I'm guessing, because we're dealing with both Greece and Venice. Uh, and then also, you know, other people, the cheating AI, are probably going to use their money to just get a lot of allies. So any remaining uh, city-states are just going to be bought away anyway. Alright, incense connected for Wittenberg. Wait, when did I get incense? Oh, Samarkand likes me now? Alright, hold on, what happened? 
Alright, that's not relevant. Um, okay, so we connected gems and that made uh, Samarkand into my ally. So they gave me incense because of that. Now Wittenberg likes me. And then Brussels also likes those gems. So that's pretty cool. That's not bad. Yeah, we don't really need... You know what? I'm gonna go with that for now. Yeah, it's still good. It's still pretty good. And now we've got a lot of happiness. As long as we keep some marking as our ally, we should be uh, pretty good. Three culture per turn from Brussels. They want a great artist. Okay. But yes, yeah, so the science victory is most likely what we're uh, going to be going after. Diplo or yeah, diplomacy is not super likely. I'd say tourism is very unlikely, and then uh, domination is pretty much impossible. I'd say for me. I mean, this is my first deity game in a while. I'm pretty sure that a um, domination victory, actually taking everybody out, is not on the table right now. All right, Antwerp losing grasp on Antwerp. No longer needs my help. Okay. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to help you anyway. You don't have to get mad or anything. All right, upgrade. Mongolia, uh, Portugal. It, what's weird is that they've been at war with Mongolia for a while, but I don't really see anything happening. Uh, which is strange, because I really was expecting some big war between these two guys. I mean, one of them is really big. The other guy has the biggest army. So I was really expecting some uh, some flashy fights going on there, but nothing really happened. All right, declaration protecting Brussels, okay. I guess I feel threatened because of, uh, because of my little friendship with them. All right, I'm actually gonna pledge to protect, um, yes, Smarkin, because that's gonna make him like me a little bit better. Uh, that's a good tile, it's not great though. Normally, I would I would be super happy, but since we're playing as the Inca, I mean, all these hill tiles are going to be even better. And that means we can also work this one, which is another five extra food. Five extra food. I mean, that's insane. All right, so just go chill in the city or something. Because we are good. All right, let's allow Cusco to grow. So after the National College, we're just going to get another cargo ship. We're going to be feeding Tuanaku a bit of extra food. Because God knows they're going to need it. And then... Made peace already. So basically nothing happened here. I'm hoping that the Shoshone are going to start fighting Askia. Because he worries me a little bit. Actually, he seems to like me, but he could be faking it. I really don't know what to think of all this. Alright, so we've reached the Golden Age. Cusco's grown. Again, it's just not a very impressive tile. We're gonna need some guilds here to get specialists uh, in the city, but we don't... We don't even have the technology to get, say, a writer's guild yet. Although we can make a workshop now, which is good. Uh, so I'd say drama and poetry is definitely... well... Yeah, let's get drama and poetry. So that we can actually get our workshop. Afterwards, we're gonna get an artist guild. Or Writer's Guild, actually. That's the first one. I forgot. Um, and then we'll make our way towards Civil Service and then Education. Because I'm pretty sure that a Science Victory is the only victory that is somewhat realistically attainable in this game. Because I don't see myself winning other types of victories. I mean, Diplomacy is always an easy possibility, but in this game, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, workshop. We don't really need that much more production, I think. Then again, you always do need more production. You know what? Let's get a... Oh, the last religion's already off the table. So temples are no longer necessary. Uh, that's just going to be it for that. Water mill. I'd say workshop. Definitely workshop. Let's do this, because this tile is about to turn into something truly special. Man, I like the Inca a lot. They're a lot of fun to play. Because these tiles are 
They're pretty overpowered, I'd say. That improvement compared to some others. I mean, look at that. That is an, just an excessive amount of food. Uh, what happened? Much has grown. I know. You don't have to tell me that. I think I'm just going to do that because their growth is already amazing. We don't really need that extra bit of... I'm going to buy that tile. Because this tile, again, is going to be off the charts, man. Alright, four more turns for the National College, five for the uh, Lighthouse. So that's looking pretty good. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I think we definitely saved the city of Machu. It seemed like a pretty bad idea. Um, or I, like I made a mistake towards the end of the, uh, the, the last part. But I think it looks a lot better now. Uh, so I'm pretty confident that this will be a really, really good city. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.